isa sa mga katanungan ng mga tao who are just starting to practice intermittent fasting ay kung bakit kailangan yung fasting period would be 16 hours. Bakit hindi 12 hours? Bakit hindi 10 hours? Yan yung katanungan na sasagutin natin sa video na to. Whenever we eat, the food that we consume, especially carbohydrates and particularly sugar, when they enter our body, they are converted into glucose. Glucose is a form of sugar. Kaya pag sinabi ng isang tao na mataas yung blood sugar niya, what it means is that his blood glucose level is high. Because glucose is is a form of sugar. No? Glucose as well is the so-called energy of life because each and every cell of our body requires glucose for them to be able to function properly. Now, when glucose enters our bloodstream, it is distributed in three ways. Una, the bulk of it goes straight no, to the different cells of our body. Because sa sinabi na natin kanina, yung glucose ay required by all the cells of our body no, for them to be able to function properly. Now, ngayon, kung marami yung nakain natin na pagkain, especially carbohydrates and particularly sugar, meron pa rin yung excess glucose no? sa bloodstream. Now, what happens next is the excess glucose, they're stored in the liver in the form of glycogen. Now, yung glycogen, kung sa sasakyan pa, Yan yung fuel tank. So, glucose is stored in the glycogen for future use. Now, yung glycogen is a limited fuel tank. It's good for 12 hours. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka kakain for 12 hours lahat na pangangailangan na glucose mo ay mangkagaling sa glycogen. Now, ngayon, pag talagang marami ang nakain natin at meron pa rin excess glucose, okay, what our body does next okay, is to store itong sobra pang glucose in the liver, in the muscles, and they are converted into fat taba. Now, itong taba is what we call as the second fuel tank ng katawan natin. So, dalawa yung fuel tank natin, yung glycogen and yung fat no? or taba. Yung glycogen is good for 12 hours. Hindi ka kakain for 12 hours, walang problema because there's sufficient glucose coming from the glycogen. Okay. Now, yung taba naman is an almost unlimited fuel tank because our body has the ability to store almost an unlimited amount of fat. Kaya tingnan mo, yung mga tao, tingnan mo yung mga matataba, abay, klasik-klasi yan. 
merong medyo chubby lang. So you call the person, ah, well, he or she is chubby. That means in Tagalog, malaman. But there are some people na talagang mataba. No? Sabihin mo, mataba. But there are people who are really very fat, no? very obese. No? Matabang mataba. Para ng bola. No? So then, there are different degrees of being obese. Why? Because our body has an almost unlimited ability and capacity to store fat. Okay? Now, when we fast, pag hindi tayo kakain, the glucose in the glycogen becomes the source of energy for our energy requirements. If you go on fasting for 12 hours, lahat kukunin galing sa glycogen, no? yung glucose. Now, after 12 hours, if you go on fasting beyond 12 hours, obos na yung glycogen, then our body switches to the use of the second fuel tank, which is our stored fat, no? yung tabak natin. Doon naman siya kukuha no? ng fuel for our energy requirements. No? And as we said, because the, our fat is almost limitless, okay? depending on the amount of fat, each person has so you can go on without eating no even for days because you have enough fat you have enough glucose no in your fat to, to be able to fuel your energy requirements okay? now that is the reason why 16 hours ang kailangan if we want to go into intermittent fasting and if we want to benefit from intermittent fasting. Why? Because the first 12 hours of fasting, ang nilalabas lang ay yung stored glucose in the glycogen. 12 hours yun. It's only after 12 hours that yung excess fat natin are being burned by our body. So then, when you fast for 16 hours, ang nangyayari actually is, the first 12 hours, you are using yung excess glucose in the glycogen. And then for 4 hours, you're using your stored fat for your energy requirements. Another way of looking at it is, the longer the fast goes beyond 12 hours, then the longer we are as well burning fat. So, the longer that we are burning fat, of course, the more fat is being burned in our body. And so that is why without doubt once we fast and if our fast goes beyond 12 hours ay talagang papayat yung tao because now you're burning your fat when you go beyond 12 hours okay so yan yan yung kabutihan na naidudulot ng fasting sa katawan natin fasting provides that opportunity to our body to get rid of excess glucose and to get rid of excess fat. So the longer, as we mentioned, the longer our fast goes beyond 12 hours, the longer as well that we are burning excess fat. You might have heard of people 
sasabihin nila, ah, exercise, ako ng exercise, pero hindi naman ako pumapayat. Exactly. Because it's not exercise per se that makes us lose weight. It is fasting that makes us weight, lose weight. Exercise ka nga ng exercise. But then kain ka rin ng kain. Eh, how do you lose weight? But with intermittent fasting, even if you don't exercise, but you fast for more than 12 hours, then you start losing weight. So if we really want to lose much weight, then we just extend the fasting hours. So that is why. That is the reason why. With intermittent fasting, the fasting has to be at least 16 hours. With a 16-hour fasting period, you have at least 4 hours where you are burning fat. That is the reason for the fasting period of 16 hours in intermittent fasting. Thank you. Now, once again, uh, as we mentioned before, if you find this video beneficial, we have one request. No? If you can just, if you can share this video to as many people as possible so that others may as well benefit no, from intermittent fasting. Thank you.